Michelle with Magnolia Grove Homestead. I wanted to come to you guys and let you know what's been going on over the weekend. So, I didn't post any videos over the weekend. I was pretty busy. Um, I got talked into starting to play softball with my daughter and an adult co-ed team. And um, actually, a couple of my cousins are on the team as well. And it's just pretty fun. Um, I've never done that before. I'm definitely sore today. Um, but, you know. I don't know. I had fun. I'm pretty excited. But I came out to the greenhouse today just to talk to you about what I've got going on. So if you can see, over the weekend I took a lot of stuff out and put it outside. The only thing I've got left in here at the moment are these things which had not sprouted by Friday. But um, you can see that we've got some other things sprouted. So I'll actually take these out these in the little pots are all the onions that Barry started so we've got a couple more that need to just go outside I'm trying to put everything out there where it can get good Sun and it's supposed to rain today so maybe you know the rainwater will do it some good these carrots you see those let me see if I can get behind there they've actually started sprouting which is pretty exciting um, and I'll show y'all all the other stuff that started over the weekend um, I got out here Friday and did a lot of work before I got really really busy on Saturday and Sunday uh, we just had a lot of running and whatnot to do um, these two are ready as well so I'm gonna sit all these to the side and continue to wait on all this other stuff this spinach has not started sprouting yet um, which honestly I find kind of strange just because the other spinach it came from the same pack as the same variety um, I split it into two pots just because they're pretty small pots um, and the other one out here did start sprouting um, so outside it's not supposed to get over 61 degrees today um, so it has definitely cooled off this week and it is a reminder that you know um, the cool weather is not quite over which is fine because all the things that I have out here are fine in cooler weather um, so if you'll see here our radishes have their true leaves so I went through Friday and I split up any radishes that were still planted in groups um, and I just, just thinned them out. This is kale. This is the dino kale and it has its true leaves as well. There they are. Um, so these little like round looking leaves. Or like the seedling leaves but then when these leaves come up the jagged edges and whatnot those are the true leaves they're true to this plant and they're gonna look different on each plant as it grows um, according to what it is this is our Detroit dark red beets and if you can see there are little beet sprouts like everywhere in this pot this is a pretty big planter however I might have to separate it like see there's that's a big cluster and I'm not sure that when they get to growing good they're gonna um, really produce much beets so I may either thin them out by snapping the greens off or just transplant some of them out um, these are the Detroit Denver half long carrot and there are little carrot sprouts everywhere in here this makes me so excited but again I mean those are sown pretty thick and so those are probably going to need to be separated out this is the second pot of radishes that I had to do um, just to kind of give everything in the other pot some room and make sure that nothing was too crowded this is the white cabbage so just about all these have started sprouting now there's a lot of little cabbages in there and then when these seedlings get bigger I might 
or when they're ready to go to the garden, I'll um, sort them out. And I may just actually thin some of them. This over here is the red cabbage, and they have all started sprouting. So that makes me excited. This is all the dino kale that we've had planted. Um, and the seedlings that you've seen, but now look, they have, I don't know if you can see it, there's the tiniest little things. They're true leaves now. So that's awesome. And then we have a whole entire thing full of arugula that is going good. All of these are the onions that we planted, started initially. And then these are the ones, oh, they've turned over. My dogs come out here. There's no telling what other critters might walk around out here, but the dogs seem to always be interested in these things, so I'll be glad when I can get that dirt and get these things in the raised bed and out of these little pots. Um, this here is the other thing. This is Bloomsdale Long Standing Spinach. Um, which I'm pretty sure is the same variety that's in the greenhouse, but maybe not. Maybe it's a little different. This cilantro, I've got to get in something bigger because it is just going wild. Which is good, but it needs some space, I feel like. Um, this right here is the black-seeded Simpson lettuce. It is doing really good. These down here are my Jupiter beets. See, these, the same thing with these. Some of these were sown pretty thickly. Um, so when they're ready to be up potted or transplanted or something, I'll either have to thin them out or um, I will have to, you know, separate them out. This over here, I just seen. This is the dino kale pot that uh, my son Barry planted and he was so excited about. Um, and he now has a little sprout of kale coming up he doesn't know that he's gonna be super excited um and then over here um so right now i've just gone through if you can see this i moved my bed post with my peas in there so that the dogs because the dogs are right here and um, I introduced y'all to Dallas. She's the puppy and she's kind of hyper. Um, she ran straight into the peas that I had just started, um, the sugar snap peas. The other day I finally got them in the buckets and got everything put together. But then that night when we let them out to bring them in, she ran straight into the buckets, turned them completely over. So that'll be interesting to see how that turns out anyway. But I turned the beds this way to line up with the raised bed and... Um, these three empty buckets here that are turned over, they are going to be used for, um, some magnolia peas that I've got coming from Baker Creek. I'm pretty excited about, um, and then I think whenever I get my other bed done and the trellises and whatnot, I'm going to go back to the thrift store and see if I can find some more bed posts and stuff. Um, and then do another little like U-shaped thing of maybe... I don't know, some bush beans or something. Um, and then I'll probably just take some hardware cloth or some kind of little fence in or something and go along in between here. That way the dogs can't run over it because by that time, all this stuff, these onions and whatnot, will be up and in the beds. So that'll work out really good. But I've got some um, surprises I want to show you inside and update you on the stuff that is going on on the patio. So I'm going to walk in the house and I will be right back with you. Hey YouTube. All right, I'm back and we are in my office right outside the balcony. Um, and I wanted to show y'all a few things. So over here, I have the, uh, the Genovese basil that has started sprouting. And I'm really excited about that just because the basil that I started in that um, kit, you remember, it did not do well. I don't know. I had it out in the greenhouse, so maybe it was too cool for it out there. I'm not real sure, but it it started sprouting and then it just died. I don't know. Um, but that was a cool little experiment anyway. Um, but over here, 
you can see this. These are the Brandywine tomato seeds from Seed Savers Exchange. And they have started sprouting. Um, there's actually another little baby one over there. Um, they started sprouting. And the beefsteak seeds of change. Uh, they have started sprouting as well as the Black Creme by Fairy Morris and the San Marzano from Seeds of Change and the Mexico Midgets from Seed Savers Exchange. Now, we started these in the Burpee um, greenhouse kits. Uh, we made a video about that. If you didn't see it, you can go back and look at it. Um, but I also, a few days ago, got these heat mats. Um, they come two in a pack. They're on Amazon. It was two of them for $25. And they, these seedlings had been on the heat mats for only, I don't know, two or three days before they started sprouting. As soon as they start sprouting, you take the greenhouse kit cover off. They're still on the heat mats just because I have my peppers started there. Um, some California Wonder Bell peppers that have not started sprouting yet. Um, plus, it's cooler outside and this shelf is right here at the back door. So, I don't think the heat is going to hurt them at all. Um, they actually need some warmth. So, and then out here on the balcony, we have... The same thing. The carrots are looking great. These are the um, cabbages. So I took them out of that little six pack container and separated them because they looked like they were dying. Um, and while I wait on my bed to be um, completed out back, um, I just went ahead and separated them. I did the same thing with the broccoli. The broccoli had really bad, like, white spots, and you can still kind of see some of it on the leaves, but it was really, really, really bad, and I thought maybe it was diseased, but since I put it in these bigger pots and got it in some good soil, um, a lot of that has cleared up. And then this here, these need to be potted up, too. This is the cauliflower, and they're just getting so big, I need to put up, pot them up. This is that, um, the purple kale that I was telling you about, um, and I, I did end up keeping it in that little thing, but I think I'm going to end up moving it just because I feel like this is going to get too big, maybe, if I just let it go, I don't know. Um, and then this is the broccolini, so it's getting pretty big, and it's doing okay in this pot, but... I think, along with the other stuff, I think when that bed back there gets filled up with dirt, I'm going to um, put it up. Let's see. The rosemary. Okay, so this is the little rosemary bag thing that my son did. And you can see it got watered too much. And this little bag system here, this pouch does not have drainage so um, note to self we won't be using that anymore I mean I guess you could be mindful of that and put holes in the bag or something although that's not on the instruction so that's something good to know about that um, the rest of the buckets had herbs in them that we started they haven't done anything the garlic of course hasn't done anything this down here, all of these were pepper seeds that I started, but they molded. I don't know, I've never used these like biodegradable things before, and I don't know if maybe that's why, but you can still see, see that mold on there, and it's like it's mostly, other than right there, that cell and a couple others like these two look kind of gross but all the rest of them the cells look fine it's mostly on this carton i'm not really sure what that mold is about i've never used those cartons again before so i don't know if that's common with those or if i just done something wrong i've got it in that tray maybe it had too much water i don't know um 
But anyway, that is an update of what is going on with the seeds and the seedlings and all the little plants on the homestead. Um, I have got a lot of things in the works for videos, so go ahead and hit the subscribe button and click the bell for the notifications so you don't miss anything. Um, and until I see y'all back, have a good day and God bless.